Hey everyone, it's Jordan Yates here. Welcome back to my channel. If you please would like and subscribe and that would mean so much to me. Today's video is going to be over the Omron Syntec camera series. So this here is just an industrial camera. Be a good look has an HDMI cord, a power cord, and a programming cord. Um, it's just mounted on my own personal tripod. There's actually much better stands such as Swivelink for this, but I just had it on this for today's demo because it's all I had with me. Um, I also demoed it with this um, lens right here. I'm gonna take the screw off. And the point of this demo was to allow a customer to replace the need for a microscope in their medical device manufacturing. So we got the camera, we put the lens on, and I took it to them to do some beta testing today. Luckily, my customer was super awesome and allowed me to actually record during the beta testing. This was the first time that I had gotten to set up this camera and use it in live action with them. I've practiced it a lot at home, but it was the first time using it on their products. It was their first time using it as well, so we worked out the kinks together. Um, you'll see in the coming videos, there's multiple operators that took turns using it, giving me their feedback and seeing what we could do better. Um, what you're gonna see next is the video I took in my car beforehand. Hey everyone, excuse how messy I look right now. I am in a rush to get to my meeting. So essentially, this is an industrial camera. And when I add on this lens, right here um it's pretty easy you just mount it right on screws on these cameras when connected simply through an hdmi cord and then hooked up to a power source is going to eliminate the need for a traditional microscope so this will not only improve efficiency and productivity but this is also going to largely impact the ergonomics of the um, operators using the microscope so instead of having to lean over squint your eyes and look through a microscope every eight to 10 seconds for eight hours a day. What we're gonna do is hook this up, mount it, and um, do a beta test for about two hours, showing the operators how this could eliminate the need for their microscope. They're going to be able to just look at their catheters on the screen and not even have to really stress themselves the way they normally do. This is after we initially got the camera set up. We have an operator here. She is testing it out, seeing what it's like to replace the microscope with the camera instead, seeing how she likes it on the screen, and we're currently working out the kinks. Oh, yeah. Can you tell me what you like and don't like about it as an operator? Um, I think that it needs more light for okay. to see what's going on with the balloon. Okay, um, agree. But on the hub end, I think that the light that's on here mm -hmm. puts a glare on the hub, so it makes it harder to see. Yeah, and that's an issue that we could work around. Okay. Awesome. But, and also, so, what's your name? Isaiah. Is there any way to zoom? Up? Is this the zoom? Um, it oh. is, but move it more to the center of it, and that's pretty much at its fixed resolution for this specific camera lens. Okay. So, what is it that you're looking for? Okay. Okay. The first few operators came to the consensus that lighting was the issue. So what we did, we brought the microscope over just to use the backlight on it to use in conjunction with the camera. Also demonstrate is that something as simple as changing the lighting, which we're just happening to use the microscope for a light right now, of what a difference that will make. This really visualizes to the operators that this is a possible solution for them if next time we bring in better lighting and limit the exposure to the camera. Here we have one of the engineers checking it out for himself. He seems to be pleased with it too and thinks it's a very exciting product. Now what I want to talk about is today's main takeaway was the fact that this camera is awesome. The operators were quite excited about it, but... For a camera to work correctly and do its intended purpose, whether it's for the microscope like we use today, or it's for any other situation where you use a microscope, what's very important is to have the correct lighting. Um, we struggled a bit with having the overhead lighting being fluorescent and it was throwing off a bit of the picture, making it a bit too glaring. And then without the um, 
setup of lighting ourselves, we noticed that it was a bit too dark at times. So what we ended up doing, I'll show you guys in the video, is we used the lighting off a microscope to show that if you just adjust the lighting a little bit, it makes all the world a difference. So today's was just a beta test and I do plan on going back there with another solution and actually incorporating lighting into my solution this time. Today's purpose was just to demo the camera by itself and how capable it is without any other parameters being changed. But as we've learned today, you can't just change one thing. Sometimes you need the whole system to be working in collaboration together. That's how it went. And I'm really excited about it. I'm excited for this customer to learn more. I'm excited to take it to more of my medical device manufacturing companies, as well as anyone else who maybe needs a close up on a part of their machine that's moving that you don't want to break the safety guards on, or you don't want to trip a light curtain, or maybe it's a fast moving part and you simply just want the uh, camera to show you exactly what's going on in real time and you don't really have much use for any other smarter vision than just simply displaying through an HDMI cord onto a screen. So it's a really cool product. Uh, Omron did great on developing the Syntec brand and I look forward to seeing you guys um, learn more about this with me and that's all I have for today. So thank you so much, guys. If you would please like and subscribe, let me know what you thought of this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.